What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're talking about one that overwhelmingly surprised me at just how good it is. It's supposedly a clone of YSL Baby Cat, the elusive, difficult to find, incredibly like super popular YSL release. We are talking about in the Emir line from Paris Corner, Rifaka. I checked out the pronunciation online. Apparently that's how you pronounce it. I've been butchering it ever since, but this fragrance really surprised me and I want to talk to you guys about it so stay tuned now before we jump into the review this was sent to me by the good folks at Aroma Concepts. I will have a link to both the North American and UK websites with the 10% off code down below if you're interested in what you hear and you want to check it out. But let's talk about this fragrance. So quick look at the bottle. Uh, the box is nothing special, but the bottle has some serious heft to it. Look how thick that base is on that glass. This is a vinyl piece of sticker, very thick, hefty. It looks like it can actually take a beating. It's almost, I mean, it's, it's clearly made of vinyl. It's almost got a plastic-like feel to it. You do have the note breakdown printed on the back. Now the cap is nothing special. It's you know cheap plastic, doesn't hold into place or anything like that. But the atomizer does a really good job, as you can see. Whew, man, oh man, let's talk about this scent. So when you first spray this one, it opens up bright and spicy. It's actually fresher than you would anticipate. And I do get a little bit of that vanilla from the base going with the black pepper and the pink pepper. And I think the vanilla Elemi combo makes this almost ice cream like creamy fresh sweet smell and i think the pink pepper helps give it a little bit more vibrance because the pink pepper here doesn't make it a hot spice it kind of adds to the sweet spice like i said aromatic almost effervescent like feel to the fragrance but you still get plenty of peppery nuance it's very spicy and smoky like all the notes listed here i do smell at some point in the fragrance with the majority of it minus the cedar wood being pretty much from the start of the fragrance when I smell it. I don't really get the cedar wood until it dries down and it doesn't drastically change a whole lot. It's kind of two stays. At the top, like I said, you get that bright, fresh, almost ice cream -like, like vanillic feel with this aromatic peppery tone. As it starts to settle in, it gets much, much smokier. The Olibanum starts to kind of star in the show. The vanilla never really overtakes the fragrance, but it's always present, pretty much from start to finish. I smell the vanilla. It's just in, the pepper starts to subside a little bit and I start to get more of the cedar wood as it starts to dry. That's why I say it's kind of two-staged overall. This stuff, it's potentially the best fragrance I've ever smelled from Paris Corner. And I've gotten a lot of fragrances from Paris Corner at this point. It's at minimum in the top three from the house. Uh, I've never smelled Baby Cat, but if the clone's this good, man, I'd like to try the original, which from what I understand, it's super duper crazy hard to find and to get a hold of. So that's where enter clones like this come in where the quality is really good. It does smell of pretty high quality. It seems like they use pretty decent oils here, which they've been doing more and more lately. I gotta give Paris Corner their due. They have been using higher quality oils from some of their past releases. The last several, like their LV clones, and then this, for example, have smelled of pretty good quality. And I gotta say, overall, this isn't the most masculine scent profile. I would say it is unisex, but it does lean masculine for all the darker nuance and spicier tones. Though, I could see a lot of ladies that like these darker, spicier fragrances really, really enjoying this, especially if you're the type that likes the Spice Bombs and Spice Bomb Extreme and stuff like that, or a big fan of like smoky vanillas, you'll probably like this. Now, performance leaves nothing to be desired here. I had four sprays on my neck yesterday at the recording of this. I was wearing it, yeah, yesterday. And every time I would move my head any which way, I would get a big hit of the fragrance in the first three to four hours. Um, it's lasted every bit of 10 plus on my skin with all the testing I've done since I got it. So safely 10 to 12 hours, but easily 10 on my skin in particular. And then the projections on the heavier side early on, you don't need a lot of, I haven't sprayed it more than four times, it is totally unnecessary in my opinion because I think it'll be overwhelming in a wearing experience for the user versus, you know, obviously more people will smell you, but there is a, such a thing as too much fragrance. And this one performs just right to where I think you leave just enough room to, 
to be in that sweet spot in the three to four spray range, at least the way it reacts on my skin. Projection, I would say, is on the moderate to slightly heavy side for about two hours, roughly. And then it settles into a moderate sea hours. Like I said, for several hours in, I could still smell myself pretty easily, even going into like the six, seven hour mark. I would still get nice little light hits of it when I make certain movements. So the sea hours on here definitely falls into the moderate side. So across the board, it's well above average pretty much bordering into that beastly territory with how this one performs on my skin. Final thoughts on Rifakat from the Emir range from Paris Corner. I think this is an outstanding release from them. Uh, like I said, for the clone to be this good, just I don't know how accurate it is to the scent profile of Baby Cat, but just judging it as an individual, how great the quality is, the scent profile itself, the way the performance really matches the aura of the profile, I would say this is an outstanding 9 out of 10 fragrance. I really would like to get my nose on Baby Cat because Paris Corner's take on it is absolutely fantastic. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Emir Rifakat from Paris Corner. And until next time, do me a quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Thank you once again, Aroma Concepts, for sending this my way. This has immediately become one of my favorite offerings from Paris Corner. Uh, this is an impressive fragrance. Very much an impressive fragrance. And let me know down below, guys, who's tried this? What do you think about it? Are you a fan? Have you tried actual YSL Baby Cat? What do you think about that one? I'm really curious on what you guys think. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on this and you give it a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later because like the rating states, it's a 9 out of 10. It is absolutely outstanding. Have a good one, guys.